Hey, Fit Fam, Coach Russo here. This is standing strength training for seniors. It's a lower body workout. You're going to need your chair and your dumbbells, okay? We're going to be using a lot of chair today. But before we do that, let's go ahead and start with our side to side steps. So, let's do our core activation. If you're doing this on YouTube Live, you've done this about a million times already. Suck, tuck, lift, push to the left, push to the right, push to the left, push to the right. Now, I see people do this, they're lazy, right? And what they're not doing is they're not pushing with this leg. They're stepping and they're throwing it out, okay? This workout, if you guys did sitting or chair, you already know, we're going to use our brains a lot. So part of the brain is the leg that's down, I'm pushing off. I'm pushing off. For all intrinsic purposes, the other leg, not doing anything. Push, push. And as you get more confidence, start taking a bigger step, taking a bigger step, and pushing. Sometimes I'll put my hands on my hips right here just to make sure that I'm pushing. And I'm, yeah, you guys are awesome. Let's go push and push. I did this in the guys' class yesterday. It's like skating, okay? Push, 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 and release. So go ahead. You don't need the chair, but I'm going to use a chair just to demo. So I'm going to turn it. Man, we should use a chair in all my strength, all my workouts. Okay, so here you're standing nice and tall. Kick back, kick back, kick back. Nice. This is called a butt kicker, okay? If you don't need a chair, don't use it, okay? But talking about the brain, what I want us to do is we want to, like, scrape our foot. Scrape our foot. My other client called it the dog in the dog part, right? Scraping your foot. And what's happening to your core? Are you slouching? No, you're lifting up nice and tall. Boom, boom. Boom. And you're feeling those back of the legs. Yeah. Scrape. Scrape. Okay. Okay. Now from here, what we're going to do, we're going to learn our first sequence, even though it's part of the warm-up, is I'm going to stand natural, push off your left foot, step back with your right foot. But when your right foot goes back, squeeze your glute. Boom. And together. Because essentially I'm motivating this movement with my glute. So let's switch leg. Left leg second back. Boom. This front leg, it can be bent, it can be straight, it doesn't necessarily matter. Just focus on stepping back with your hip, pop, and step. Switch, pop, and step. Core, push, and back. Push, and back. Push. Nice. Now, if you're feeling good, you can open it up a little bit. And the further you go, the more you should bend the front knee. I'm not demonstrating that perfectly. Push back. Use your glutes. Use your glutes. Use your glutes, use your glutes, and release. Nice job. Let's go ahead, folks. We're going to stretch our backs out. We're going to use the chair, though. I haven't done this stretch with you guys in a while. All right, so first of all, catch your balance. Step up. Wah, karate kid, okay? Foot is flat on the chair. You don't need to smash the chair like I did. I want you guys standing up. This leg, the downhill leg, the leg's on the ground. See this hip light? Turn that hip light in, standing up nice and tall. Core muscles lifting. I already feel the stretch. Right? What we're going to do is we're going to breathe in, inhale. We're going to exhale. We're going to dive into the pool. I want everyone's hands inside their feet. Okay? This is the first position. Keep that hip light on the downhill leg, right? The leg is touching the ground, driving it forward. Oh, my God. My back is stretching out. Okay, now from here, bring your hands on either side of the chair. Try to drop your palms if you have the flexibility. Catch your balance. This back heel, you're going to lift it up and down. Lift it up and down. For those of you that were live, you guys got a special training on how to do this. Okay, and lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Lift. Now come up slow. Boom. Posture up. Same calf raise on the back, on the downhill leg. Boom. And down. And down. Good. And down. And down. Lifting. And down. Good. Lifting. No need to scream. Sorry. Lifting. Last one. Hold it. Hold. Driving leg. Lifting. Squeezing. Super high. Ultra tall. And relax. Okay. Before we do the other leg. I want to do this one, okay? This is called the toe touch, okay? Got my chair? I'm going to touch and touch and touch and touch. Everyone lift up, squeezing nice and tall. If you can't get that high, just come here. I have people kick the bottom of the chair. doesn't matter. I have people that can only get it up two inches. That's also fine, right? There's no wrong way to do it. Just not doing it is wrong. Now, look at my arms, okay? Sorry, let me go back to touching. If you can't do the arms, that's fine, but really it's opposites. 
opposites. If you guys have been training with me, you guys know. <laughs> it's all about the opposites. Touch and touch and touch and touch and touch. Nice job. Touch and touch. Lifting, touch. Lifting. Don't kick your chair over. Lifting. You guys are awesome. Three. Two, and if you're really smart, you're going to end on the opposite foot, the right foot, karate chop, okay? We're going to move a little bit quicker. You guys already know this one. Take that hip, that leg that's down, the downhill leg, turn that hip light in, okay? Lifting nice and tall. Inhale. <gasps> Exhale, dive in the pool. Sunshine, baby. I want to see some smiles. Yeah, exercise. Okay, now take your hand inside the leg. Sorry, I did the opposite. Inside the leg, dropping the head. Turn that hip light in. Okay, now hands on either side. If you get your palms flat, come down. Now, from here, just like we've done the other leg, lift the toe. Ball, lift the toe, lift the heel. Calf breath, down. Up and down. You guys got it? Up and down. Up and down. Oh, yeah. Come on. Up and down. And up. Good, driving that hip. You guys got it. And three, good. Two, last one, and one, good. Bend your knees, standing up nice and tall. Drive that hip light up and down, good. Up and down, keep working, up and down. Lifting your core up, up and down. Here we go, up and hold it, hold it. And relax. Nice job. And then kick the chair over for fun. We are going to use it for one more exercise. All right, folks. Grab your dumbbells. Hey, my dumbbells are on the floor. How do you pick things up from the floor? Put it between your legs. Bend your knees. Grab and grab. You guys are awesome. All right. So we have our dumbbells. Let's go over our ski jumper. Yeah, we're going to use the dumbbells. You guys are fine. So turn here. Feet are shoulder width. Weights are facing me, right? And we're going to work on our sequencing, sequencing number two for the workout. Suck, tuck, lift. All right. Second part, you got the car door behind you. Shut the door with your butt. Shut the door with your butt. Now, keep your core engaged. Bend your knees gently. Lower your chest down. Lower your chest down. Right so the weights are right below your knees. Now, look, don't bend your knees a lot. It's not a squat, right? It's here. I'm looking down at the ground. Squeeze your core. Now, when you come up, start by squeezing your butt, squeezing your butt, pushing your hips up. <sighs> Let's use our brains. No more neural pathologies for us, okay? So, standing up nice and tall, suck, tuck, and squeeze. You got the car door behind you, shut the door. Lower the weights down by folding at your waist, gently bending your knees, pausing, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes, and the yeah! Nice. Okay, again, a little quicker. S lift, core activation, shut the door, fold at the waist, pause, squeeze the glutes coming up. And again, lift the core, hips back, squeeze. Driving up, yes, good. Lifting up nice and tall, so like tuck and squeeze, shut the door, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. Two more, and posture up. Suck, tuck, and squeeze. Shut the door. Driving down. And up. Good. Again, last one. Lifting core activation. Shut the door. Driving down, driving down, driving down, driving down, driving down. And voila. Posturing up. Hey, you guys are awesome. Don't put your weights down. I'm going to show you a crazy leg one. We don't do this very often. It's not my favorite, but it's pretty good. Hold on, Cher. Sorry. Okay. You want your weights on your hips. Common mistake I see is putting the weights by your knees or putting the weights like on your hips. No, not, not on, your, on your pelvis, okay? Right here on my hip. Now we're just going to do the right leg, okay? So right leg comes out and in. But when your right leg comes out, push your hand into your leg. Like this little five-pound weight is not doing nothing, but I'm pushing my weight into my leg. Push and push and push. If you're going to do power next, folks, we're going to be doing this one a lot, but we're going to be doing it in a much more challenging position because it's power. Touch, touch, <laughs> half the people just turned it off. Touch, touch, and relax. Other leg, push the weight in, lift and down, lift and down, good. If you're having a hard time balancing, find a wall or use the chair. Well, that would've been a good one too. Here, push and down, push and down, push and down, 
there. Good. And relax. Do not put the weights down, okay? Hold the weights. We're going to do a high knee march. This is going to simulate the one we did on the chair. But now the weights are going to be in front of me, okay? And as I lift my knee up, the weight's going to slide down my leg. You guys see that? So here's the sequence. Lifting up nice and tall. Drive the hip. Slide the weight down. Drive the leg and down. Drive the weight. See, I'm sliding it down my pants. Boom and down. Reverse shaving my legs and down. And lift and down. Now, if you're feeling good, boom, get your knee up. We're going to be sprinters today. I've never seen an overweight sprinter in my entire life, so something to think about. And lift, and lift, and lift, and lift. Get them up, and lift. Three, two, and one. Yeehaw. Good job. Yeah, we've done a lot of muscles already today. So go ahead. Let's put our weights down. We got two more exercises, okay? One of which will use the weights, one of which won't. Let's first do the one without the weights, okay? Since this is standing, my expectation for us is we know standing lunge, okay? So for standing lunge, my feet are shoulder width apart. I take my left leg forward, one, two. I bend the front knee, okay? This is standing lunge. Postured up nice and tall, okay? Here's the sequence. I want you guys to squeeze your glute. You're going to end up squeezing both. That's fine. Squeeze your glute. Protect your knee, right? From here, I'm going to bend my back knee just a little bit down. Boom. So we're coming into a lunge prep. And if you're really astute, you'll notice my back hips coming forward. That Don't pay so much attention to that as you're paying attention to my glutes. And am I lifting up? Boom. And am I lifting up? Boom. And don't just do this. We're not going forward. We're going down. Down, squeezing my leg, down, squeezing. This is called lunge prep, okay? I'm prepping for a lunge. We're not doing lunges in this class. Power, you better believe it. Okay, and release. So to switch legs, just step back, right leg forward. Let's take a breather. <sighs> okay, right leg forward. Here we go. One, two, posture up nice and tall. You guys are awesome, okay? So from here, turn the legs in, bend that front knee. Good. You guys are doing good. Posture up. Stop thinking about lunch, okay? Posture up, lifting nice and tall. Squeeze both glutes. I'm going to bend my back knee. Boom and down. Boom and down. Good. Posture up and squeeze and down. Notice I'm going down just a little bit. I'm going down just a little bit. It's not this crazy movement, right? Very commonly, the heel. There's a lot. This is, we need to teach this one more. That's fine, though. Squeeze the glutes. Going down and up and down and up and down and up. And down and up. Good. Weights are on the floor. Well, first of all, set the chair up. I'm going to shoot it from the side, folks, okay, so you guys can see. So do not, you don't have to do it side. Dumbbells are on the floor. I'm going to bend my knees. Weights between my feet. Posture up nice and tall, okay? So find the door. Now, this is the sit to stand, okay? So as always, we want to work on the technique. So sequencing, lifting, right? I'm going to shut the door with my legs. Now, unlike a ski jumper where I fold my waist, this one, as I shut the door, I'm going to bend my knees, but keep shutting the door, if that makes sense. Keep pushing your butt back. <whistles> Boom. You're going to sit. Now, from a seated position, right, you're going to rock forward just a teens. That's even a word, a teens, right, rocking forward here. Rocking forward. Snap the hips. Squeeze the glutes through, okay? Commonly, I see this, right, and they're keeping all the weight in their legs or in their quads. Not what we want. We want the weight in the hips. So, Standing with me, lift, shut the door, keep shutting the door as you bend your knees, sit, rock forward, push your hips, pop, and down, okay, here we go, round two, or three, lift, shut the door, bend the knees, snap the hips, voila, good, again, shut the door, sit, lean forward, hips, good, again, shut the door, as you're awesome. Wow. Okay, just like that. Again. <laughs> this is the last one, okay? Well, second to last one. And up. Boom. Okay. Coming down. Last one. Sit. Go ahead. Drop the weights. I'm going to turn so you guys can see you. So I can see you. Okay. 
I want to end here. That was a lot of work on the legs. I want to end here. Just, you're going to sit on the chair. It's kind of nice having the chair here, huh? Okay. We're not going to do the one we did in the seat. I want you guys to do a different one, okay? So feet forward. Legs are flat. You're going to put your hands on your knees. You're going to pull your chest and stomach through, sitting up nice and tall. Now, just relax everything. If your posture fades, that's fine. Just relax. Take a moment to feel how much blood is in your legs. Blood has oxygen. Oxygen essentially is necessary for all productive things of your cells. Hmm, good. Breathe. And work out complete with yourselves. Round of applause. <laughs> nice job. If you guys are on YouTube Live, we're going right into power. If you guys are doing this recorded, power will be the next video in the series, okay? You guys will see it have the same date, strength training for seniors, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a good one with the chair. Great lower body exercise, working on the sequencing, protecting our brains, okay? So if you guys want to find all the workouts that are on YouTube, I do also highly recommend signing up for the catalog. It's free. All the workouts are organized, and it's easier to view as where YouTube is kind of a more of a challenge to find the older workouts. All right? So with that, you guys are awesome. I'm Coach Russo, and this is You'll Be Fit Forever. Peace.